movement has an office in Doha. Hamadain organization is the official sponsor of negotiations in public. But terrorism in behind. Qatari forces are in Afghanistan without being attacked. Qatari government and media broadcasts deny their support for terrorism. However, they do it in public. The clearest proof for that is Taliban movement which held its meetings in Doha, practicing its actions and normal life by its leaders as actual Qatari citizens. American Envoys Meeting with Taliban in Qatar Reuters published the news about a meeting held between the Special American Envoy of Afghanistan, Zalami Khalilazad, and the delegation of Taliban leaders in Qatar. The meeting held in Doha is the second one in four months, which means that Qatar has hosted direct conversations between U.S. officials and the terrorist organization in public. U.S. State Department has failed to declare whether the Doha meeting was held or not. A State Department speaker demanding not to publish his name. We cannot affirm such meetings or the content of diplomatic talks either. While well-informed officials assured that the meeting has been already held in some statements for Wall Street Journal. However, the source has not assured what are the issues discussed through. Taliban sets its office in Doha despite of its classification as a terrorist organization. However, Taliban movement, as a ruling power on Afghanistan's land, has been brought into an end after 11th of September. Attacks and the outbreak of Afghanistan's war, that movement, which has been defeated during the direct fight, restored to terrorist actions against the Afghan citizens and security forces. It didn't only attack foreign forces in the country, but also kept itself the actual ally of Al-Qaeda. The U.S. chasing of Taliban leaders in Afghanistan made Taliban's elements run to Qatar, setting an office in Doha, although it has been recognized as a terrorist organization. But this suspicious intervention of Qatar hosting the terrorist movement and its meetings under the name of efforts of achieving stability in Afghanistan. Instead of handing these terrorist elements over to the security forces, to eliminate their danger, failed it over. And that could be an easy task, if Hamadine organization's great concern was to sustain security and stability.